so that's area here, mm -hmm. so called bay surf. And you might just be able to notice a few rolling waves coming in when the tide gets really shallow and there's a like a big easterly wind that comes through. You get waves rolling through here in all the local surface. So um can they get quite significant for, yeah, for yeah, surfing? Quite big, so about six foot. Six, six foot. Surfing, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's um, where the old Simpson Hotel stood. That was uh, built in 1867. Uh, was that uh, the first um, settlement? To be uh, no, not the first that? one. The first settlement is further on down the on, river. Down the river? If you get to it, I'll, I'll be able to tell you a bit more. Okay. But um, yeah, that was first built in 1867 and it was called the Simpsons Bay Hotel. And um, it stood there till about 1955. Mm -hmm. Like that's when it was destroyed by fire. Yeah. And a lot of people used to take their holidays down there because, you know, back then this place was virtually untouched and really nice. Yeah, I nice went um, I went over to Bandina yep. about two weeks ago. Um, they had a, a map for a walking uh, oh, around yeah, yeah, the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, great walking track. So they said um, where um, the first um, houses. Yeah, 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 yeah. For a people lot of who, who who came yeah. there, but they said uh, in principle um, it was quite slowly uh, developing. Uh, not so very yeah. many people. Very uh, slowly uh, coming here, here. just because mm -hmm. of the lack of transport to and across. I mean, there's a road that goes all the way around, but mm -hmm. it takes mm -hmm. a long while. So a lot of people get the ferry. So it's a bit of a lifeline. To so it's basically because it's on the other side of the river. Pretty right? much. Yeah. 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 And it, that's all natural park over there, so this can't build any sort of train lines. But that now, now uh, many people simply uh, enjoy going yeah, to the beach. Oh, yes. <laughs> great place. I mean, this, it's not so crowded. This then. sort of area here, yeah. called the um, Deep Sands Pit, runs along here. Mm -hmm. and that little township behind it's called Main Bar. Uh -huh. So Main Bar and Bundina are the only real two sort of townships um, in the National Park. The Aboriginal name for um, the Deben Sands Pit, basically it's called Deben, but uh, it means the crossing place. So when the Darwell people lived here, they um, oh, used to cross so here, the there, it's just You can, like can still the see the, so, so there's shallow water here. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. shallow. And at uh, low tide, that all dries up and it's just a big, big sand bed. Mm. So the Darwell were the Aboriginal natives that lived around here and they uh, used to stretch from as far north as Botany Bay down through here uh, south to the Shell Harbour which is quite a long way and now west of Goulburn so it's quite a big area and they used to come here on a seasonal basis and uh, basically live off the oysters in the marine line. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, they could simply um uh, fish here and yeah, fish and just live off. The live off. There's a few um, areas at low tide where you can actually see we call them Aboriginal kitchen middens, where all the shells were left behind. So they're just basically it's a like pile up of yeah, of, the the pile the shells of shells and, and things. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So it's a. <laughs> Those houses just around there. The only way in and out of there is by boat. So you might be able to see just a few holes leading all the way in. I have to stick really close to them and they can only get in and out of high tide. Yeah, 
Okay. Uh, back in my 1800s when the Simpsons Hotel was still there. Visitors have come down to this headland by coach. There used to be a ferry wharf there, and this ferry company used to have a boat that would go from there and ferry them over to Simpsons Bay where they'd spend all their holidays. So when uh, was actually uh, the national park um, installed? So um, um, and um, who has um, uh, put that through? Because in principle, um, the city yeah. could expand uh, into yeah, that, that I area. Think, um, so the original gates upstairs. I'll mm -hmm. go check on it. But it's the second oldest national park in the world, mm -hmm. um, next to Yellowstone in the USA. There, the first. Then came this. It's called a national park. And then Queen visited in uh, 1960, I think, 1960 something, and that's where it received its royal charter. Um, I've got it all up in notes and all that. So when we get to a few different areas, I'll come down and um, explain a bit more about it and be able to give you a few dates and everything. But yeah, it's it's actually a huge area. So yeah, it's, well, it's 26 it's kilometers or something. Yeah, yeah that's it goes from basically here, and there's a little bit more around there quite far west mm. and then all the way down to Stanwell Top so like if you were to catch the Bundina Ferry you could go catch it walk across Gibbon Beach which is you can see that beach from now it's the furthest one up there if you were to walk across that you could go all the way down the heads and there's a really good bush walk and that goes along the heads and you can eventually come to Stanwell Top but it'll take you a while to get there but there's like a lot of really really nice beaches down there too. Yes, we, <laughs> we found out about that uh, last uh, weekend. Um, we went to Otford oh, in, yeah, Otford, in the yeah. in the south, and um, yeah, we were hiking a bit uh, yeah. northward, but uh, on the on the ridge yeah. to the north, and then uh, went to the beach and this coastal walk um, yeah. back to That's Otford yeah, because. Um, we haven't been um, equipped enough to do the whole trip. Yeah, well, it's, it's quite a big um, quite But uh, yeah, in the evening uh, we met uh, four people who did it on that day. Yeah. Uh, from, how long from, did it take? Uh, we've uh, been uh, six hours on our way, but it was a round trip. So they said uh, they took the, the first available ferry over yeah. to Bandina. So they must have been uh, on their way about nine hours. Yeah, it's going up and down. Yeah, uh, once you start <laughs> so to get to uh, Gary Beach and all that, it starts to go up and down and everything. Beyond that, it's just the heads, and then you can drop, and then it's just the head. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Where these guys are fishing over here, you can see just a few dark things in the water. They're yeah. actually big um, ballast heaps from square rigged ships in the, in the harbour. Okay. Back so in the 1800s, um, they come down here, unload all their rocks and all that sort of stuff, and dump them there from the ballast tanks, and then fill them up with sand and seashells and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Support, take it back up to the harbour, unload that, and then burn it in a, a kiln and get the lime out of it for the construction industry. Okay. So it's um, so it's almost like an artificial reef that's been created there uh, over a hundred or something years ago. Oh, that's interesting. So the, the water's a little bit uh, darker over there, no? Sorry? Yeah, uh, just where it's a little bit darker, darker some yeah. weird beds. But on the way back up, they may just be able, they may just be surface, so we probably should be able to see them. Because at the moment the tide is really, really high. 